Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Last One y Los Vamos. Yeah, 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 yeah. How's everybody doing? Great. That's what's up. That's what's excited. up. I see us. Very excited. Come on, then. Come on, then. Good, good. Man. Man. <laughs> Man, muchas gracias a todos los que han dado el click a este video. Muchas gracias por seguirnos aquí en este canal de YouTube, según que tenemos. <laughs> Pero yeah, ahora es un video muy especial para pa nosotros, es algo diferente, como siempre, tratando de traerles algo diferente. Um, pero antes de presentar a los muchachones, queremos decirles que no se olviden de nuestro giveaway, que tenemos una meta para, para nuestro canal, que es 500 subscribers, 500 suscriptores, para poderse ganar esa playera allá que está enseñando mi compa Jay, el de la Bubble, el de los Champions, the one and only Lakers del 2020. Y no se olviden de esta, mira nomás, qué joya. Pero esta Mamba. Es, pero esto es para los mil. So, para que miren que si sí vamos bien. Primero la de 500, ya la de mil. La de Mamba. So, con ustedes ahora tenemos a dos jóvenes. Dos youngsters que, yes, for disclaimer, we do have to say we do have permission. And we have consent of their parents and guardians. Um, para que estén aquí. Y pues con ustedes tenemos ahora. Maribel. And. Miguel. Es todo. Yes, También welcome. tenemos de invitada de honor a Mrs. Liliana. Eso. All right. No se me, no, no, no se me chiven aquí. aquí. Or Lily for short. Lily, Lily for short. Okay. Maribel's mom. Hey, hey, ya ves, tenemos permiso. Yeah. <laughs> bueno, pues sí, muchas gracias a ustedes que pudieron venir ahora para, para estar aquí en este episodio con nosotros. Este episodio va a ser de... ¿Cómo podemos comparar nuestro high school de al antes y, y ahora? So, the high school then, back then, the high school mm -hmm. now, you know, what's the trends, what's, what's going on, was is it the same? Do we remember things, you know, differently or, you know, are they still the same, you know? What do mm -hmm. you think, Jay? And we actually have three generations of high school, so yeah. it's going to be good. Muy bueno, muy bueno. So, tres generaciones diferentes para poder uh, saber la diferencia de estas prepas. Mm -hmm. bueno, o como decimos nosotros so, uh, ok, sí, ya sí, empezando sorry, duro <laughs> empezando duro okay. I don't know if, I, if you felt that but I felt that, ok, I was like me tiraron <laughs> hey, I think the, I mean 04 goes good, but I think 08 has always been the best, it has the best rhythm mm -hmm. 08, so you see, number 8, Mamba so come on now, he represents already, ok, pues ya mejor me quedo callado <laughs> Porque yo ni fui ni 04, ni 08, ni en los O's. Nah. Yeah. Soy joven. No he bon todavía. Mira, por eso sí quedé bien aquí en esta <laughs> generación. Uh -huh. Yo soy del 2010. 2010. 2010. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have to say it all out. Yeah. Can't say O oh something. No, no, no. 2010. It's all good. Pero sí, este... Yo, yo recuerdo la prepa muy... Muy... No sé, no sé. Sí la disfruté, pero sí fue diferente a lo que yo me imaginaba. O sea, no... Yo imaginaba los lockers que, pues, you know, they... Sí estaba como... Fel excited to, to start high school, pero no fue lo que fue, you know, like... Era... Era San Bernardino. Yeah, but, <laughs> pero eso fue lo que también me enseñó mucho. So, me cambió la realidad de volada. Like, no, no era... Como mirábamos que... Oh, Boy Meets World or whatever. En TV. <laughs> TVs, yeah. No, no, MTV, no era... MTV, what do you mean? MTV. Oh, MTV. I'm like, dang, MTV. <laughs> I'm like, where was that at? And Jay's already feeling like... Lo están atacando no. también. No. Hey, MTV was my era too. Like, <laughs> no, pues yo dije MTV. No me acuerdo de ninguna película de MTV de school. Pero pues sí. Yeah. No, esto... Basically, we want to know about trends. We want to know what's going on from the from the new cats, the new people, the new era. Yes, the young bloods. So, <laughs> what um, what school you or what side of the city you guys represent for your school? For me, Rialto. Rialto. What do you bet? San Bernardino. Okay, we got rival teams. Hey. Rival teams. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's be all the way. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, it's all good. I mean, todas los, los, las ciudades aquí alrededor siempre han sido muy, 
muy bienvenidas. Este, siempre como uno de, de su ciudad, we always try to rep the best, you know, us being from San Bernardino, we're like, oh, yeah, no, screw those fools from, from Rialto, like, nah. But, you know, we've, we've come a long way, and we always said, like, hey, like, any anybody, any city around us is cool, any, any anybody, like, you know, that that's put in the work, they basically grew up the same as us, it's just from a different area code, that's mm -hmm. all, you know, but it's all good, it's all love, like we always said, it's, let's spread the love, let's spread the positive messages out here, pero... Tell us, guys. Tell us a little bit about yourselves, like, uh, if you guys don't mind, Maribel. Like, mm, well, I'm a sophomore, class of 2025. Ooh, okay. Dang, 2025. That's a new one for me. Yo pensé que nunca iba a escuchar eso. ¿Y tú, Miguel Ángel? Um, I'm a junior, and then I'm a graduate next year, 2024. Nice. Hey, llamero, another, llamero. Another Mamba number. Yeah. <laughs> Puros buenos aquí. Yeah. That's great. That's great. Yeah. I mean, uh, you guys excited almost you one year, then the lady here two years. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. Next year. Como dicen los jóvenes. Sheesh. <laughs> you guys ready for that? Or for you guys, are still, do, you, do we still say ready for the adult life or the real life? Or is that not a thing no more? Yeah, I hear mm -hmm. it. Yeah, yeah. same. Ready for the real world, I guess. Yeah, we're real, real world. world. Okay. Yeah, Lily, same thing. You, Are you you're, you're four years uh, <laughs> under us. So was that what they were saying, or was, was another saying for no, that? Same one. Same one. Mm -hmm. All right. That's cool. Yeah. No, it's. Yo lo que me recuerdo mucho de 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 high school es que. I mean, nunca falta the trend. Nunca falta like what's in. Like you know, you want to be being in high school is tough. Es muy difícil cuando vas a la prepa like que quieres pues vestirte bien, vestirte a la moda, en, en muchas, en muchos casos de nosotros, por ejemplo, el mío fue, like, mis papás a lo mejor sí tuvieron para darme, you know, uh, que la ropa, los tenis y todo eso, pero no eran su, su modo de crearme, o sea, no querían crear a un niño mal criado, que sea, you know, mal agradecido, so, a mí me tocó lo que me tocó, y sabes qué, mi hijo, es tu cumpleaños, te vamos a comprar tanta ropa, tantos zapatos y hasta ahí. Sí, eh, eh, tú depende de ti si tú los cuidas o no, pero eso es lo que te vas a llevar a la escuela. Entonces yo sí, like, tuve que cuidar, like, limpiar mis tenis, tener mis tenis que son para salir y tener mis tenis para ir a la escuela. So, eh, eso fue, like, lo que yo recuerdo con la moda, porque sí, sí había muchas modas, like, no sé si lo hagan todavía, no creo, lo dudo, pero uh, una de las modas de antes era como, por ejemplo, meterse los, los calcetines en, en, en los zapatos para hacerlos más, mirárselos, hacerlos yeah, ver más gordos. That. Like, you know, stuff, las, stuff hacer las shoes. tortas, yeah. las, las tortas, so, no, no tortas ahogadas, son tortas de, de F. Hey. And the shoelaces were like And this the, thick. The thick, thick shoelaces, oh, so if you had Converse, yeah. you, knew, you knew what to do. Your Converse, girl, huh? Ya sé, ya sé. No, ya, yeah, yo... Yo, por ejemplo, la, yo tenía lo, lo suficiente. Este, no, no era para que, oh, me, me siguieran o no, me fuera, like, a decir, oh, él es el popular, o anda con los populares, like, nada. Yo tenía lo que tenía y me fue bien, o sea. Mm. Y ustedes, like, what do, you, what do you guys remember? Or, what's the trend now? Like, is it about shoes still? Fashion. Yeah. Yeah. Fashion. The Fashion. amount that your outfit is, like how much it costs. No, pues ya valió mucho eso conmigo. Por como que, como por ejemplo, like, nah, I'm not trying to, like, pick on you guys, but, like, for example, like, if you want to throw a number out there, like, un número, como si dices, si es de, de fashion. Well, you could just say, like, two digits, three digits. I mean, you don't have to go so specific yeah. on how many digits, the actual digits. So what would it be that, what's the cost of something right now? The That's whole a, outfit? Yeah, the whole outfit. Like, maybe $100. No, $100. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I am going to, I'm going to have to say that, you know, unfortunately us, the, the guys and the boys, our clothes is always more expensive yeah. for some yeah. reason. 
So I'm not gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna expect a little higher for yeah. for Miguel Angel. Um, let's say like a shirt, twenty five dollars, and then the jeans sixty, the shoes two hundred. Jeez. Awesome. So we already went over yeah. two hundred and something dollars. Man. Casi los tres. Yeah. No, yo no le pegaba ni a los dos digits. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, my high school years, uh, my parents were like your parents. Like they were, they would give us what they could. You know, we, they were both working, and I think um, it was hard for them. You know, because we had it was three of us, so to give us all something. Um, but I'm grateful porque así como tú dijiste, nos enseñaron a ser humildes, you know, a apreciar lo que nos dieron, a cuidar. Y a cuidar las cosas y eso. <laughs> It's so much different now because I tell Maribel all the time, like, I don't have none of the stuff that you had or that you have right now as, you know, high school. Right. Like, you, sh you should be feeling really blessed and thankful that we're able to give you what we can. Yeah. Y más si es ahorita como dicen ellos que es en ese estilo, en ese trend, trend you know, trend, yeah. de que ahora van a la escuela lo más para enseñar como fashion, pues. We, we were hitting the, the sales racks and J.C. Penney, sí. Sears, Mervins. Mervins, sí, sí, eres de las mías. No, pues sí, este, that's cool, like, no, pues sí, yo, yo he visto ahorita mucho en TikTok que, yeah, like, they, they be doing, like, elf, what do you call it? Uh, fit, check. fit checks, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. See, I feel right in. <laughs> see, yeah, they will go up to you like these. Estos morros hacen like videos de TikTok and hacen hey, let's do a fit check. Like, I stand, you know, todo el grupo like oh, listos. <laughs> oh, okay. you, you can do it. You can do it. You're a perfect example. But no, like they they be like oh this me costaron tanto los you know they from ground up and they even go to detail like with their chains, their rings, accessories, their accessories like it, it goes. I'm like, damn. Si los puros tenis era lo que me dieron a mí todo el año, like, <laughs> lo que me costó mi ropa para todo el año, pero pues, hey, it is what it is. That's what's in right now, you know. But even the fashion has changed, you know, throughout the years. Because now that I drop off at school and I see sometimes what some of the girls are wearing, I'm very shocked. I'm like, man, I remember when we were in high school, we were get dress coded oh, to yeah. the office right away. And no, nowadays they have like little short crop t-shirts, los pantalones todos rotos and everything. I'm like, dang. I remember, yeah. I remember the rip, sh rip pants was like a big thing. Like, oh, you you can't have rip pants. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, like it's, it's uh, that's how I bought them. Can't wear them. Yes. Put a patch over it. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or you get a loner clothes. <laughs> yeah. Like, Ooh, era lo peor. Do you guys still have loner clothes for PE? Yeah. Loner clothes. Yeah. Or in general for school? I, like, mean, I, don't, I don't have PE this year, so... But last year when you had it, did you have I more? I think clothes? so. I think if you didn't bring your clothes, then you just didn't get the credit. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. now it's yeah. we're into that. No type dress, of no credit. Mm -hmm. So it's a what? I mean, we could break it down five points, two points. What, how much you lose each day? Probably like, I think presents is like 10 points and then another five points for dressing. Or I'm not sure. How that system works. No, a nosotros no nos contaban eso. Era si no corrías tu mía, <laughs> <laughs> no te daban crédito. <laughs> yeah. I guess uh, just laws now have changed a lot. So yeah. that's the way bueno, they try to do it. Sorry to cut you off. Pero like, um, yo me acuerdo que yo todavía tenía el physical. Um, there was the, 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 the PE actual test. Like the physical uh test like when they were doing testings all all around the school about english uh maths the final uh, the, the, your finals yeah like, pe was one of the, one of your finals too is that still a thing like for pe yeah, yeah. Like, like what are your what, what do they what do you have to do like i remember for me it was run a mile for for the males for the boys it was you have to run your mile under three minutes or whatever the case was That's, yeah, no that's, that's a fast mile. <laughs> 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 Whatever it was, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm talking about over 10, 10, 15 years ago for me. Three minutes? <laughs> no, you already think you're a builder. You <laughs> muscle builder do three no, minutes. No, I'm going to go with the guys with the calambres that I'm going to go. How long are they giving you now? I think it was the boys had 10 minutes and the girls had 12. Yeah. yeah, that sounds about right. 
I think that was like an A for us. Like, I mean, would they used to even do grades as well. Like, depending where you reach on the 10 minutes, that was your grade. So you can reach a C, a B, a B plus, an A minus. Um, so that's how ours was. It wasn't really like you did 10 minutes, you mm-hmm. get a full A. I don't know. I mean, they put cones on the grass. Is that mm-hmm. what they do still or no? Or uh, they just base your time? I think it's just base your time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In middle school, I know it was like that too like 10 no, minutes no sé. a b and then seven a something like yeah, that pero antes los botines, uh, what was funny in that time like the, lo ponían on the grass y había unos que nomás se tiraban a la b plus or la e a la a because you know some yeah. of us actually you know would try like never try for p but that being the final but the tiradas the tiradas a la a to try to get a get a good grade yeah, no, no, my best one was, like, para agarrar la A. Y me acuerdo que, like, en cuanto pasé, yo creo que era el, ter- el, el tercero que terminó. No, en cuanto terminé, a puro vomitarme. <ríe> no alcancé ni llegar a, a sentarme donde estaban todos los que ya habían terminado, pero no, muy feo. I'm not even going to say what we used to do. <ríe> Me and my friends, we used to walk very slow on the third one. So we would just do three turns. We never did the the whole oh. four turns. <laughs> what do you mean? I didn't do it. I acabo de terminar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, pues sí. Es uno siempre, uh, siempre. Yo fui siempre así de, like, I said shortcuts. I don't know mm-hmm. about you guys, but, like, I don't I know think how. it took me 15 minutes to do it. So I didn't pass. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about in general. Like, yo en todo high school, you see a shortcuts, like, in math, English, in my test. <laughs> yeah. Pero... I mean, no, that's 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 cool. Like that, they still have it. Like I, I would think, like man, I haven't checked up on anything on high school. I don't have kids of my own, pero, pues it's it's crazy. Like to see, like all are they still keeping up with the same, uh, what'd you call it, uh, system. the system or test or, uh, cri- criteria that you know that we went through as back in the day. Like for them too. Like are they going through the same directions that we did? What electives you guys have right now? I have. Or what? Can, what electives can you get? Um, now you have. We have shot. silk screening. Silk screening. When you make the t-shirts, wow. I had it last year. Hey, that's interesting. I wish I had that. We didn't have that. Yeah. Yeah. Anything this else? Year. This year, I taking e-business. They teach you about like stocks and like how to run a business, basically. So like mm. Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like an avid or this is no. just anybody can get these electives? Yeah, anyone. Is it a big class or a short class? Like, like, is it like 20 students? Is it 30 students? No, it's a, a it's lot a of people. It's a full School. class. Okay. You, Angel? Uh, I have Bob the Builder and Avid. <laughs> Bob the Builder, I'm guessing. <laughs> Where you shop? do cabinets, <laughs> <wish up>. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Dang, yeah. crazy. But there's, there's a lot of electives you could choose from, from like nursing and then what else this like business wise do you like guys get to choose two electives now or i know uh, remember i think senior year was when we were able to choose two electives right last year i had two yeah i think you just have the credits yeah if you're so not falling behind no credits you have two mm-hmm. you lily what's your uh what's your electives back in the day that you can remember um i think we did like photoshop and then I did, oh, I think that's it. Dang, Photoshop <laughs> will come nice and handy right now, huh? For real. <laughs> what would be something that you guys would love to have as an elective right now? Like if that you can th- think of that you would <laughs> like to Like that is not in the school system? Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, okay. I think there should be something that, like, teaches you, like, about your health that you have to take, like, to catch symptoms of things and like how to defend yourself too self-defense mm. self-defense yeah. class mm. that's a good one yeah especially for a woman nowadays yeah mm. but she's she's from San Bernardino she good <laughs> 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 she know what's up <laughs> what about you Mila? probably like like getting ready like to the road I guess like you know what to do like when you do when you buy your first car, like mm-hmm. you know, 
So more like a like business, taxes, yeah. like more real like life. Uh, yeah, like real life real scenarios. Life scenarios. Yeah. I wish they would. I, I mean, sorry to jump on no, it, no. but like, I wish I wish they would t- taught us something about like uh, credit. Mm-hmm. Because credit is a big part of your life, and um, we don't get shown like anything. Once until we get thrown out there. You, did you get taught that, Maribel, or no? On your not class? yet. Not yet. Mm-mm. But you will be. Yeah, like. He taught us how to write checks and everything, so I think we'll learn cool. eventually. Yeah, it's crazy you still write, learn how to write checks, but I mean, hey, I remember Excel también. It was a big part oh. of my life, and fortunately, no, no puse atención en la clase, but of course, <laughs> I would need it right now. We're fantasso, Vali. Yeah. Do you guys still get offered, like, different languages? We only have Spanish. That's oh, it. Man. I think we have sign language, Spanish, and, f- like, French. Mm. Yeah. One, three. Mm-hmm. When, oui. I, when I was in high school, they had they offered German, so I took German oh. for, like, two years. <laughs> no way. A ver, di, last one y los vamos. No se le pegó nada. Like and subscribe. That's crazy. No, yo no. Yo fui muy, muy burro para todo. No me dieron like this. Because, para empezar, querían que. You cover the credit? No, que fuera a la escuela. <laughs> 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 yeah, me la, me la pinteaba mucho yo. Y, pues, a mí, pues, por lo menos a mí, no me hacen, como, como dicen, pues, no, no me hacen menso, porque yo le calé de todo. Like, yo me escapé de todo. Like, tuve muchos shortcuts. So, a mí no me miran la casa, la cara de menso, pues. Si, si tuviera, si llegara a tener un hijo, like, you can't, you, you know, you can't get, I, I know what's up, like, I, I did that, I know it's not gonna work like that, trust me. Yeah. Pero, pues, cada but, quien. But they're still gonna figure out a way how to do it, I mean. No, quién sabe, a lo mejor ya pasa, imagínate, va a salir caro porque tengas un niño ahorita que vaya a la escuela. No, but of all, all is gonna. Fr- I, I would say they're gonna figure out just how we figure it out, you know. Hacer nuestras maldades. Sí, va a ser mi hijo. No, sí, este, dude, like I, I would say, one of the like the biggest. I don't know about you guys, but like other little trends that were going on around the school is like also like por por ejemplo like la, las pulseritas, like. Did you guys had like like Lily like you, with that you remember like anything like that or beads or anything like or, or collares oh, yeah, collares they, de they los have, blancos yeah those white ones and yeah. then a lot of um the color ones that's when all the color ones were starting to come out like I remember like chokers came back like I remember chokers came back and they, I I wasn't in high school anymore I wasn't in school but I know they came back um I never wear them but <laughs> but well, I did wear the like the the bra- the black bracelets or or what do they call the other ones? The well, I'm gonna have to ask. I don't know. You guys know what a choker is? Oh yeah, it was back in fashion, middle school I or in elementary. So. Oh. Yeah. so what is it? Like the spice and stuff, or the things you put around your neck, right? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was like in elementary, fifth grade, fourth grade when they were back. A lot, mm-hmm. a lot of the guys used to wear the 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 white ones. The white ones. Yeah, like like the stone mm-hmm. ones. Mm-hmm. And the girls would wear either those or. Or like the black ones, right? The, yeah. the black ones that look like they stretch. Yeah, that I think I they came back after, like, I remember buying her some. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're coming back. Mija, aquí tengo los míos. Or I remember from Mexico, they used to do the chains for the bicycles. So you grab the, you know how the bicycle has a chain? Yeah. So then they made it as a an as actual a bracelet. bracelet. Yeah. That was yeah. a trend. And then I was telling Junior, um, in our time, mm-hmm. probably Lily too, and Jace, um, we were able to buy soda pop. So you know how the sodas or water they have, the cap and then the inside of the cap tiene like a little seal. It's blue usually or clear. Mm-hmm. You were, okay, so we would take that off, and then we will cut it and start stretching it to make it as a bracelet. Mm-hmm. And then usually if whoever had the most was the popular kid or si te la cortaban decía, no, she, he likes me or she likes me. <laughs> but Damn. yeah, that was our like that, like trend. The lid? Yeah, the, the lid. So underneath it, underneath, underneath, like you take the lid off 
Mm. And underneath the soda ones, they had like a, this clear or a blue seal. Oh, and under you the cap. Like, yeah, under pick, the cap. Pick oh, okay, that okay, out. Okay, yeah, yeah, and then that's what you stretch uh, out to make your bracelet. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, no. Teníamos muchos amigos que, like, tenían toda la mano llena de, like, pinches <laughs> negras y like, bracelets. Like, Pásame uno, güey. <laughs> <laughs> no, no son míos. But, like, you know, like, another big one was the pictures. You know, back in the day, we didn't have you know, instant, like, iPhone or Android or Samsung, like, to just snap a picture. What was the trend? You go with your homegirls, with your homeboys, to the freaking one. Well, I don't know about homeboys. I don't know. I never did it. <laughs> <laughs> I never did it. <laughs> but mostly all the girls would do it and give pictures out to the guys. The one-hour photos. Friends. Yeah. <laughs> I was all indoor. You know, you, are, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. With or the, the carousel, with yeah. the hearts, the hearts, the... yeah, the blue ones. Yeah, <laughs> you, you got the old style. Y todos vamos a usar el mismo color. <laughs> We're all wearing white. Yeah. I remember taking those pictures. So do you? My question is, do you guys take pictures like that? Not really. We right now, people, girls, like I guess they like to buy Polaroid cameras. Okay. So they come mm. out like like that, and that's what they put in, like the back of their phone. <laughs> Okay. Mm. Yeah. What we used to do on our folders. Mm-hmm. But now they don't wait one hour. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, now they don't even carry a folder. No. I do that. No more folders. Oh, Damn. yeah, they have laptops now. No. Or Chromebooks. Chromebooks. We didn't have none of that. No. ¿Qué pasa si no los regresa? We have to pay. We're not graduating. We don't graduate. Oh, it's like for us, was the like books. Like a book. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. We don't return the book. Like, a todos los llegaban la mendiga carta at the end of the year, like yeah. when you're senior eight, you need to return what, the book back to the library. What book? I don't read. I don't go to school. Like, <laughs> oh, por los perdidos, vale. No, por, ni los acaba de la escuela. Yeah. Mm. A mí no más querían cobrar. No, pues. No, but yeah, I remember like, oh, you would get a picture like, and then you would see somebody else's folder and you see a picture and then you, you know, like, oh, damn, I didn't get one. <laughs> <laughs> and... And then by the end of the day, like you get one or whatever. It's like from the from your friends or the girls. Like, oh, here you go. Like, hey, so I, f- I didn't see you all day. I was looking for you. I was busy giving out pictures to everybody. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. No, thanks. Así que te miraban la cara hey. de sad boy. Huh? I was like, man, sad boy for life. Ya lo escribían allá atrás. Oh, yeah. Never change. <laughs> Take care. Take care. Never change. Oh, hit me up in the digits. <laughs> huh, oh, well, those are the good ones. <laughs> Damn, Lily. We're going way back. <laughs> are, you, are you that talking about those trends in middle school? I know we're talking high school, but in middle school, we still um, used to sign RP shirts. Oh, okay, yeah. Did you get to do that? I did. I signed mine. Yeah. I put Elka. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm saying like you go around the school, you get the la firma. Yeah, other people like, like your friends. At the end of the year. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, like the like the books. The, what are like they called? The, the, yearbooks? the yearbooks. Yeah, like yearbooks. the last page. Yeah. Well, los que estaban, you know, que no podían comprar yearbooks. Oh yeah, or the shirt, or like shirts. a paper, yeah. lo que sea. Yeah, I remember from now that you said middle school, like you in middle school, we used to wear our our shorts, our PE shorts underneath our. Or like pants, pants. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys still do that. Yeah, yeah. still. And I remember the girls even did that too. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. He was happy. He was happy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you say, "Oye, como que no he was it." Well. No te digo que caminaba bien despacito. I had to take <laughs> zero period my senior year because I did not want to take PE. <laughs> <laughs> no, pues. And the, 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 that's the easiest class, <laughs> yeah. ni porque es la más fácil. Uh-huh. Las regañadas. Yo me acuerdo que caminaba como tres horas para llegar a la clase allá y no puedes llegar a tiempo tú a tu PE class. How about, yeah, now he's saying that, what about tardies? How's tardies now? Oh, I'm bad with tardies. Oh, yeah. ¿Te hablan todavía en la casa? Mm-hmm, my mom. Phone, Miguel, my sister's phone. Miguel. It's just a robot at this point. It's just, oh. no, but it's been I think it's always been an yeah, automated been system. Yeah. You, uh, Maribel? They're Tardies. not strict at no? our school. Yeah. I mean, they don't call. They only call if you're absent. Como cambian los tiempos. Or if you miss a class, a period. Yeah, if you're absent. Yeah, and that's when they call. Eso es lo que yo le decía a mis papás. Es que no llaman. No, <laughs> no tienen por qué llamar. <laughs> yo nunca falto. You guys still get referrals? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, but not as often. Detention. Yeah. yeah. There's no, well, in our, my school, there's no detention. Not that I've heard of. Mm. So mm. what's 
Oh, no, go for it. No, go, go, go. Like, for me, like, let's say you have three tardies. You have lunch and detention. You have six. I think you have step up. Saturday school. Wow. Yeah. You will never catch me in school on Saturday. If I went three days, I'm menos el sábado. Oh. No, so no tardies in my room. No tardies, no referrals. So how do they discipline you there? Not really. They don't discipline. Oh. La mamá, como how you discipline her then? <laughs> well, the that teléfono? Is that does that no, work? No, she doesn't really. She's not a bad student. She's um. Está bien, está bien. Okay. Yeah, she's an honors <laughs> math, and she's doing a lot better than I did in high school. No, pues honestly. <laughs> Mercedes Hammer de Dino, she, <laughs> she got it on her. Ahí va la cosa, va bien, va bien. Es todo. No, a la ya de Rialto, anda que tardy lunch. <laughs> no. A ver, como que, que aquí tenemos que arreglar algo. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I feel, you know, not, not, we all been through it, you know, from different ages, from different eras. We know, high school is high school, like. It's fun. You can make it as fun as you yeah. want, but at the same time, you can't get carried away because you vas a la escuela para to focus yourself, you know, to to learn to do something. Aunque uno no quiera, pero uh, the truth is, like, tenemos que ir a la escuela, aprovechar y, y aprender algo. Yo sé que muchas de las veces dicen ustedes, o como por ejemplo yo dije, ¿para qué? ¿Para, para qué voy aquí si aquí no me están enseñando, like, cosas reales, cosas que se van a usar en la vida real, pero... No, nah. yeah, llegas a un punto de tu vida where like, oh, damn. Mm. ¿Cómo se hace? <laughs> <laughs> Matemática, me van a pagar cuánto, pero pues, ¿cómo lo hago? <laughs> y ahí es donde sí dices, ok, ya, yeah. ¿por qué no puse atención? O, o por, ay, aquí me sirvió que gracias a esa clase de computadora, like, ya sé cómo hacer aquí mi resume y ya puedo hacer algo por mí mismo y ir a una interview, get a job that I want. Son pasos así, aunque son muy mínimos, pero sí ayuda. Yeah, so, Nate, I had a, I had a good question for you guys. Más que se me va la onda ya con, con esta edad. <laughs> Especialmente con la escuela. <laughs> 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 Hablando de escuela. Pero, no, like, what, what do you guys, uh, what do you guys like about high school right now? Besides, like, or what is your favorite, like, what's, in general, what's your favorite thing about high school right now? Miguel Ángel. Um, I guess seeing your friends, like, you know, okay. that was a thing for us too. I, I mean, mean, school not boring at all. It's just you know, school like you had to go to it. So, what's your favorite subject? Bob the Builder. <laughs> okay. yeah. So you're a hand, you're a hands-on person. Yeah, Bob the Builder. It's fun. And it's chill. Okay. Lay back. And then the teachers lay back too. So, what have yeah. you built? Um, a little box like I don't know like todas las joyas. yeah and then a cutting board for my mom mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> with all your tardiness yeah. <laughs> no, no. you Maribel what's your favorite uh, what's your favorite thing about high school right now mm, just being with my friends and having classes with them that's cool yeah I think that was something that I think we could all relate. Like, siempre, siempre era like, oh, when you go to that next grade, you're like, oh, me va a tocar comida. Hey, what class did you get? Hey, like, are you sure? Like, like, siempre los poníamos bien nerviosos. Like, pero pues nunca los salíamos de, like, dude, we're still in the same high school. Like, <laughs> no nos vamos a ir a ningún lado. It's just, we're in a different period. classroom. Yeah, a different period. Like, you just want to be with your friends. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> And, um, no, that's cool. Like, but, You know what? Other than that, like how Junior said, what was your favorite period? Like, what's your favorite mm -hmm. class? I like math. Math. Yeah. Because I'm good at it. Finally. <laughs> That's gonna come in handy when you're older and you gotta count all that money you're gonna make. <laughs> That's gonna come in handy. Very opposite of me. I hated math when I was in high school. Dang. That no. was my worst subject. I had to take it for summer school every year. <laughs> Pensaba que era pi. Ya estamos. No va a decir tu papá y tu mamá. Ya está destapando. No, man. Yo, not that I had, like, I didn't like any subject. Pero I was kind of good at math. Pero porque 
llegué al punto donde ya no me podían enseñar otra clase de math. Um, so I had to like retake like algebra. I had to take retake like other because I had already taken them, but I was just getting an extra credit for taking them again. And so I, I guess I was kind of good at math, um, at least from back in the day where I, underst I understood math. Because you have all types of math. Yeah, tienes matemáticas. Que, you know, ya ni me acuerdo cuáles son, but I remember it was like math 101, math, algebra 1, algebra 2, geometry, uh, geometry uh, trig. Mm -hmm. uh, no me acuerdo hasta, hasta cuál llegué, pero college math, I think I did college math in my senior year. Um, but it was, even though I got like, I think I only got like five credits for, for doing like a college math course for for like two months porque ya no tenían nada más que darme so, like, All right, whatever no me querían dar oh tenía que tomar math class porque no me querían dar uh, electives mm -hmm. so I think I chose a math class because it was the only thing that kind of just made me focus and not like really because I didn't have any friends in those classes in my in my senior class so I was like Or whatever, whatever gets me focused and not have to. I, I, something that didn't have to make me talk to other kids. So I was like, I just want to focus on my own work and that's it. So I chose math. What's your least um, subject you guys don't like? I don't. <laughs> 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 I'm in your book, but I just don't like it because it's boring. Like writing about it or like, like taking pictures, but you, I, mm, I really don't have like a least favorite, but so which one's the one you struggle the most? Struggle the most, probably Avid. Avid. Yeah, because I never do my TRS or like the binder checks. But I mean, they're all easy, but it's just lack of work, I guess. Oh, do you do you guys still have um? Remember at the beginning of the year that you would get this um. Like this little agenda. Yeah, the agendas. Mm. You guys don't get them. Yeah. Avid does, but not everyone gets them. Oh damn! <laughs> Back in the day, the whole school used to get them. I don't know if it's a money thing, but. <laughs> no, they get a Chrome. they're a Chrome now. Yes, you Chrome. just do it there. Mm -hmm. like That's true. Mm -hmm. So, um, I know we're gonna go a little bit back. You get I just were in the pandemic. Were you guys at home? For high school, middle school, también. Mm. I was at home. Half of seventh grade and then all of eighth grade, and then freshman year is when I went back. Mm, you, Angel, my freshman year, I was it was the end of eighth and then all freshman year, and then tenth was <coughs> in high school. So I know for like us, we were we didn't really have any time off like that. The most we had was summer. So how was it to actually see your friends again once you saw them? Um, because for us, it was like whole different. Like, oh, este, ya no lo conoces. Yeah. Or let's say they were in a trend before, que punker, they changed it up. So how was that? Um, I feel like everyone after COVID was like more like, must like. Do your own I thing? Guess, yeah, like more anti-social, I guess. Hmm. But like your friends, like it was like, well, my friends, I seen them like here and there. I was like, oh, all COVID, we didn't see each other. But we seen each other like here and there, but. I went back, it was, everyone was more, like, their own little world. I mean, there is, like, still people, like, you know, are, like, the class class clown, but, like, but how it was back then, no, it's not the same. Mm. Yeah, like, like, see, see, not that, like, the kids nowadays, like, man, like, not, not to offend anybody, but it was, like, more, los miraba como más huevones, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, llegaban a la escuela and they're, like, with PJs. Con no ganas. Like, And that's, I don't know if that's where the whole croc, like, crocs <laughs> trend came out. Like, everybody was just, like, chilling. Like, you, you go to school, what are you doing at school? Chilling. I'm just chilling. Like, hell no, you'll never catch me one of those things. Them crocs? Nah. Well, for you, Maribel, it sounds like you like school. So how was that for you? Did it affect you in that way? Como is a junior, that people were, or maybe yourself, that you were just lazy. Like, it took you some time to get back in the rhythm. Not really. I think I was just more excited because I was going into high school. Hmm. So 
But before, I would sleep in all my classes, but I still passed them, so. <laughs> nah, I wish I was that smart. <laughs> so me, es, me es, es escuelas de las millas. What about you? No, I failed all my freshman year. <laughs> 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 but, but I signed a paper where it passed me. Wow. <laughs> no. Oh, pues, wow. <laughs> así yo también quisiera todos mis high school. Bueno, quisiera, que así, quisiera que así fuera la vida. <laughs> no, no, no quiero mansión, pero pues démela. <laughs> no, yeah. es cool. Pero, hey, like I said, it, a, a nosotros no les tocó eso. A, a mí lo, I don't know if you guys remember or if you guys were even in school. I was in elementary when this happened, but it snowed here in San Bernardino couple of years ago and they shut the schools down for i think a week or two and it was like that was that was it like that was the only thing like to us it was like oh dang we didn't go to school and it felt like forever like you know I mean, even though it was only like a week or two but that was the only thing that happened to them. that was the only break we got besides like other breaks well besides your normal breaks like uh. you know you know because i i still had tr the tracks i think they were called tracks Like track A, Elementary, track B, yeah. Mm. like yeah. At that time, I, I was shout out track C. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, track C, track C. That's where it was Christmas, and I I, I went to two mi different middle schools. I went to Arrowview and I went to Golden Valley. And Arrowview still had tracks, so I was familiarized with like the rhythm of, of the school and the breaks and stuff like that. But when I got to Golden Valley, uh, they were they were all year, all year round type of schedule and um i thought i was like oh damn that's gonna suck but, and then i did complain but uh, but that was one of the best years of of my school years my favorite school year was eighth grade at golden valley um i remember when i was in middle school we had teams we had like depending on the school we right. had different teams hmm. what were the teams all like Competing yes. with each other, or yeah. like was it track? I mean, no, it, I went to Arrowview too, and I went and they had um, like Team Apache, and I forgot the, the other. dragons. No, they weren't dragons no. yet, they were oh, still like the Indian kind of, and then they changed it. <laughs> okay, there's there, there's okay, there's I know I'm going I'm gonna go off topic a little bit, just a little bit, but they said I don't know if you ever heard that story about the Arrowview, like the Arrowview sign. Mm -hmm that supposedly some kid fell from like so they were fighting on on the roof or something like that and the kid pushed off another kid and he was hanging off one of the letters and the letter se se, se cayó like it, it mm -hmm. fell loose and the kid fell con toy letter so they say that here and there like you won't see part of the arrow view like one of the letters it will be missing I never heard that story. You never heard that story? No. No? They, I, I, they told me that this happened, like, when I went to middle school there, they told me it happened, like, maybe, like, 18 or 20 years before I went there. So no, pues que bueno que no fui a esa escuela. No quería salir <laughs> espantado. <laughs> But no, that's crazy. I think Mardu has a story that the homecoming or prom, the a girl, when she was going, she got in a car accident. And she died, so now every now and then she shows up to the prom. Oh, mm. snaps. <laughs> hey, that's a good story. <laughs> okay, guys, another another quick little trend that you guys think that, or or what do you guys have any questions for us? Must be. Let's do that. Let's. Do you guys have any questions for us, like from what you guys see now, or from you know, or what you want to know from back then to us, and let you guys know, hey. Like, Well, yes, he says, yeah, no, says, yeah. What kind of friend groups? Like, you know how right now there's like the, like the down ass fools, and then <laughs> and there's like the Mexican, <laughs> and then like you know, like the groups, like right, the populars. Right, right, yeah. Like, was it like the same back then? I mean, you always had your like los buchones, and like. Well, we didn't have los buchones <laughs> because obviously we were yeah. all different. But I mean, yeah, I would consider los buchones for us, or at least for me, it was like the pretty boys. Uh -huh. Back in the day, like you had the pretty boys, and yeah, you had your punkers, you had your like hipster type of kids, yeah. uh, the soccer players or the or the teams, you know, like whatever yeah. team you were in, the softball league, Baseball, football, football, soccer, yeah. um, even the volleyball. Shout out to everybody who plays volleyball. Um, but yeah, that, that was always a thing. Now, I mean, you had like you know, 
the cholos, the fools, you know, the, the, gangsters. The, the gangsters, the fools that are all tatted and, you know, we're tatted, you're not. Um, yeah, I remember those things, the, the greasers. party crews. San Bernardino was big on greasers. I remember that. The party yeah. crews was big. BYOB. Yeah. <laughs> I remember for us, it was like they had the peloteros and then we had, I forgot, what was the other group of Mexicans and stuff. Yeah, but we had... Pelotero. Yeah. What do you Some mean? Uh, like Puerto Rico. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Back up a little bit. I guess I saw that pelotero. Like. It was like a group of Mexican, like all the Mexican boys. Um, it was like their little gang, I guess. I don't know if it was a gang or not. <laughs> Were but they bald? Some of them, and they would dress with even with the crocodile shoes and um, todo chalino. Sí, oh, and like guayaberas yeah. and pantalones así de vestir y todo eso. Oh. <laughs> Así, so Those <laughs> yeah. 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 And with their big old, like, they had, like, esclavas. esclavas y sus cadenas y todo eso. Going in high school, like, <laughs> I remember those. Jeez. And then we also had, like, the greasers, the punkers. Yeah. Yeah. The cholos that would be up in the, some, the, the stairs. stairs. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, those ways nunca cambiaron. Ahí, ahí se quedaron. <laughs> That's territory for them. That's yeah. territory for them, for life. Mm -hmm. That's the skaters part now. Oh, well, your mother. Damn. Well, spoke too soon then. How popular skaters right now? They're popular. Yeah. yeah. I remember, I mean, you don't really see people on the sidewalk skating no more, so that's why I ask. Antes sí se admiraba mucho. I think most popular is like school. the way they dress. Yeah. Their style. Yeah, their style the, is positive. The skaters? Los Vans todavía? Yeah. Yeah. Vans, DCs. Osiris's, Etnies. No, I don't uh, think they know. No, that. yes, what? <laughs> no, that was our era. What about the DBS's? <laughs> At least the DBS. No. Tell me the DBS. The DBS were popular. Oh, what Our was the, the little flame boy? Oh, wow. Um, oh, that one. International? No. Industrial? <laughs> International? I'm like thinking what trucks I? too. I know, <laughs> but it's, it, I know it was around there. It's what I can't remember. Um. Damn, I have, I have it right here. I just can't say it. World yeah. Industries. Wow. World Industries. And boy, I got almost. Yeah, I feel like high. that's when they were like, skaters were really they were big. big. Yeah, yeah. They, that was their era. Yeah, yeah. like the mid, mid 90s to like mid 2000s. Yeah. That's when they really blew up. And Tony Hawk and had like his own game and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, that's sad though on Tony Hawk. Like he was the first one to bring out everything, but then everybody got the credit. I remember, like, their Tony Hawk shoes, for example, weren't too popular, but you had the DCs, and then, you know, that started coming up, the DVSs, the Etnies. Yeah, you had uh, other yeah. pro skaters that were, or not even pro, but they, like, already had a shoe under, under there. Yeah. Like, that's what made them, like, famous or pros. Like, oh, he's not maybe a good skater, but he has a shoe, mm -hmm. and that shoe's very popular. So it's like, you know, that's how Jay says, like, you know they that just i mean he ripped. opened the doors yeah he, he did open the doors and but it was like he says they that just stole his credit right there like who he who did put in the work who put in like you know the real skating moves to actually make and create moves and you know go through the business side of it and go through multiple meetings multiple hours of tarzan uh, he comes out and their his moves Oh, yeah? Tony Hawk. Oh, yeah, dang. Yeah, you watched the Tarzan movie. The original like, one? Yeah. The original one. The, the cartoon one? Or? Yeah, the cartoon one. If you see, in the beginning, I think, when he's kind of grown up and he's um, kind of like skating. Oh, I don't yeah, know what he's doing. Trees. Under the tree. the trees. Yeah, yeah, that was actually Grinding. Tony Hawk. <laughs> wow. Learned something mm -hmm. new today. Yeah. I'll have to get my VHS <laughs> pop that thing in. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was a big trend of, of skater shoes from back in the day. I, I, yeah, you might croquet. I was like, I was telling my mom, oh, look, look at the vans. And my mom was like, man, like, yeah, I always wanted those. And I, I was like, <laughs> is she messing around with me? But no, my mom said que yeah, los vans eran, ya tenían mucho tiempo, en la que ella siempre quería unos blancos. Yeah. Y pues, you know, That's funny because my mom, too, recently. Um, they finally she, spoke out. Yeah, we <laughs> bought we bought her. Um, well, I bought her some bands because she had always said, "Ah, you seem pretty." This was even. She's from like you know, she's older now. It, I wonder how long they've been around. 
Yeah, no, they go back way, like, I think, way back, like, I don't know. Well, now that we're speaking about that, but un saludo a mi mamá. Está mirando. He's a guest, me biggest fan, so. Love you guys. You're going to shout you. out your mom too, Lily? Oh, yeah. Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> no te quedes atrás. No, Miguel. And dad. Te van a quebrar esa tabla que le hiciste en Bob the Builder. You don't shout out your mom right now. Shout out my mom. Hey. <laughs> She's waiting for you. At least give me a high five or something. <laughs> Do your own shake right now. <laughs> Dang, uh, that's so. crazy. No, but um, but I was talking to Angel the other day. We we're talking about trends. Um, I was, we were talking about he's playing soccer this year, but he was saying that you guys don't have any subs. It's not a popular thing anymore. Yeah, I mean for my school at least. Well, yeah, your school. Yeah, it's not. Are your you, school. Yours, Marva? Tampoco. Like, how how big are the teams nowadays? I know for soccer, we don't have enough players to have a, a varsity and a junior varsity team. Wow. So it's just varsity. Dang. For so, girls. Okay, for girls. Um, the other the other sports are still popular. Yeah. See? You? I know swim is getting popular. Hmm. In my school, at least. The, the, I don't think you have a pool on your school. We have a you? pool, but I don't know if it works. Uh, or they do. They do. do. Roof, I know. Dang. Yeah, we have water polo. You guys still have water polo? Mm -hmm. I don't know about swimming. I can't remember. Yeah. You remember swimming, Lily? Yeah, like, I remember. The actual. I just mean water polo, but mm -hmm. like racing swimming? Yeah, yeah. I remember oh, yeah. the head swim team. Hmm. That's crazy. No, I don't know. That even changed the uniform to. For the swimming team, because I remember before they were speedos, you know. Yeah, now they're now they're like shorts, huh? Two, like shorts yeah, or two pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's crazy. So what's uh? So if it's not sports anymore, would you guys say now? I mean, we see it in in TikTok or in IG. Is it people actually playing music? Like they actually take their instrument? I mean, we had bands back in the day, right? But it was a band. For school, it wasn't much as a popular, a to, popular play, thing to do, like to play in lunch or be it was, playing. It was almost like a little embarrassing to be like, "Oh, me se una de Ramon Ayala," <laughs> <laughs> you know. But yeah. like, like yeah, like mm, there's kids that take their guitars right there and just play right there in lunch. Is that a trend, or I mean, is yeah, it like la, los vaqueros right there? Oh, <laughs> they dang. take their little guitar. Yeah, and they play their corridos and after school. Sheesh. Yeah. So you guys basically have a little band already made. I mean, yeah, like Junior was saying, that I guess in our time, um, our culture wasn't really brought out like that. And I think I've said it before, we've been in the mixture of like our parents brought us here trying to be in the United States and then being, you know, Mexican, we kind of always conflict like which one to be. Mm -hmm. But it's actually awesome to see now that our culture it's normal now to be seen in school mm -hmm. and it's a trend it's playing now you, i mean you guys actually made it something because for us it was tough to just be that so thank you, you for that yeah. if you were to take your guitar back then you can make fun of just in general just because what you were yeah uh, yeah it was a lot of fights uh, yeah. guitar. Yeah. i remember there was a lot of fights when yeah. i was in high school definitely I think last year there was like eight fights in one day at my school. Jeez. Yeah, we had riots. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we had riots. We had riots. And that was in San Bernardino. Like, got bad, man. I'm glad we're, I'm glad we're over that. Like, mm -hmm. you know, because you guys probably didn't go through that. But being like, you know, di diversity, di diversity, diversity. Mm -hmm. uh, Anyways, stay in school, kids. Um, <laughs> you know, being from a different race, like, it, it, ethnicity was, like, I don't know why and who taught us that, but, like, we would say, oh, yeah, Mexicans only stick with Mexicans and blacks only mm -hmm. sticks with blacks. Like, no, nah, man, like, you know, I'm glad that's over. Like, and you guys don't have to go through that. Like, but that was big back in the day. That, that esa era una de las cosas que a mí me, no me motivaba para ir a la escuela. That's why I would miss a lot because it was always, like, fights like oh blacks against whites or blacks against mexicans and and it was it was dumb like it was really really dumb because i remember where you know we already had blacks being mexican 
So, um, but they were really open about it. They really like were proud to be Mexican, even though they were even, you know, more in the middle because obviously their skin color. And now you see it even too, like it's so trendy and seeing IG or yeah. TikTok, like you see, you know, African Americans being, you know, another culture, and they're like, oh yeah, Mexican. Mm. Uh, just seeing a grupo firme TikTok. Que anda la, la niña singing and she's African American but Mexican as well or Latino. And uh, I think uh, there's a guy called Compa. Compa Negro. Compa Negro. Yeah, too, shout out to so. Compa Negro. See, I mean, it's, it's becoming a big thing and I, it's natural now. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah, that's, that's good to see, man. That's what I mean. Like, that's, that's what it's all about right there. Like, spread the positive, spread, spread love, spread good messages because the, that's what we're leaving behind like you know and that's what these kids are picking up these young adults that are out here um even though they have their own eras they they have their own style and and you know they get fit checks every every other day <laughs> that is better than ours but you know it's all good it's as long as they live something good behind from that so that way the next generation can come up and say hey like it's not that bad to go to school anymore it's it's good it's fun just how you guys say it like and uh well we thank you we thank you for keeping 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 it going keeping like trends going like that because it's it's something that you know i'll be curious in five fifteen twenty years from now when i retired i'm gonna be curious to be like yo like what's the trend i'm gonna be that weird old man and be like yo yo y'all still do fit checks or what <laughs> what's up my boys <laughs> you know yeah oh, we yeah. Ask Maribel, Maribel, though, what's something, something she would like to ask because we didn't get to her oh, question, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go for it is, was, was the dress code like really strict back then yes, yes. yes. we, we couldn't wear jerseys, jerseys or hats mm -hmm. no, no ripped, ripped jeans no ripped shirts, shirts. no crop tops <laughs> yeah. showing your belly button <laughs> Nothing like that. I got bad because I remember that they even were thinking of adding uniforms the next year to when I was in high school, but it didn't get to that. Yeah. I think lo lo peor que me dieron a mí fue fue una la llamaron la llamaron a mi mamá porque yo traía pantalones de estilo rompidos, pero no eran ese estilo eran porque pues eran los únicos que tenía y ya se me estaban rompiendo. <laughs> <laughs> Entonces me dijeron que me tenía que cambiar y me dieron P shorts. Me tuve que poner mis P shorts y le hablaron a mi mamá. Pero yeah. pues. Seeing how much it has changed. I mean, pues yeah. imagínense, like, en las escuelas de antes, como me platicaba mis tías o mis tíos, o mi mamá me decían que, que antes te pegaban. En ahí mismo en la clase, like, pon, pon las manos y tas, te daban con la regla. Now yeah. we're at least. Hey, I would take the shirt over a loner shirt over a reglazo. Ahí, like. Imagínate que te pegaron con la last one y nos vamos matraca, dude. Ay, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm wearing. I think to it has to come to like respect because nowadays sí. I mean like there's a lot of students, a lot of young people that don't respect their teachers, or the teachers are scared to say something because then the parents, you know how they. They respond to some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I feel like all that kind of... Everything's too sensitive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. too, too sensitive. Like, but, you know, with all the respect, I mean, like you said, you carry yourself. I, I carried myself like how my parents raised me. So, igual, este, pero yeah, you carry yourself how you, at least, to, at least I can say, for us, it was important to carry our parents, like, with us. Let's say, like, uh, we're coming from familia de bien que los enseñaron you know we're, we're better than that to, to respect. not respect especially respect your teachers respect your elders mm -hmm. um, you know yeah. que te llaman que te <laughs> que le fueran a llamar a tus mamás porque you were being rude in the yeah. classroom or something no, forget about it dude and I even see videos like the kids going to hit the teachers and stuff so and it's kind of scary world <laughs> yeah no it sucks i mean hey but you know, like i said kids just do good in school you'll get over it. it'll, it'll be over sooner than than later and then just make it fun make it make the best out of it because those are your your teen years your youth years learn be respectful you know learn to to be young adults um 
de bien para que puedan dejar un mejor futuro para los que vienen en and just last but not least, I do want to ask you guys, what do you want to be when you grow up, Maribel? I was thinking about being an astronomer because I like the stars in Spain. Holy mm. moly. <laughs> Sick. Nice. Nice. Hey. Ya cuando... No nos vayas a olvidar. Si ¿Eh? estás allá arriba, por favor. <laughs> yeah. Me mandas una estrella. Por casa. O si vas a vender, si vas a vender estrella, ahí damos un descuento. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, be like it? Mm -hmm. Having like my own company, like a whole warehouse, then like your own business, yeah, probably like property management or something. Ooh. Nice, nice. nice. Yeah. You can start with real estate and then go from there, yeah. something like that. Not that raffle, raffle in English, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, we do, do have the raffle, raffle guys. Remember, uh, we have the shirt for 500 subscribers in YouTube. Once we reach that, um, we'll be giving it out. So send your subscription screen to our IG and uh, we'll be picking a look at winner once we reach those 500 and raffle it out. After that, we're giving in a thousand once we reach a thousand. Now, whoever has subscribed already for the shirt and the jersey or showing a screenshot to it, we are going to be raffling off the jersey. So remember. And it's real. Yes. Remember, like Jay said, share us for you guys can get this quicker. Subscribe as well and like if you guys like this continent. Continent, let yeah. us know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any topics? Any anything else you guys want us to talk about? Like you know, again, a big thank you to Lily, Maribel, and Miguel. Like you can thank you for joining us today. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Gracias a todos. Este otra vez, pues, ahí compártanos con con sus amigos, con sus comadres, compadres ahí. Para que crezca este, este canal de YouTube para, para poder invitar a más gente A poder comprar más micrófonos Y tener un fiestón aquí Más, más alegrón Más, más grande Y pues gracias, gracias este, We're gonna wrap it up Ahí los vemos para la que sigue Peace Later.